A cyber attack on a major meat processor has caused another spike in beef prices. But that increase is one-sided. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers shows us why farmers have suffered for more than a year now and why some are now looking for alternative ways to reach customers. The rhythm of the cattle industry has been disrupted. What's happening to the producers today is the worst that I've ever seen. We've been here 29 years. Jim Herzog and his family own the Mocan Livestock Market in Passaic, Missouri. And for the past couple of years, he and the cattlemen who buy and sell here have been frustrated by the numbers. Here's the box beef prices. It's an all-time record at 340. Live cattle are down today like seven or eight cents at this time. They show a widening gap between the prices farmers receive and what consumers pay at the store. My producers make maybe 75 to $100 a head profit after all expenses. The Packers are making a thousand to twelve hundred dollars a head. Packers like JBS, the world's largest supplier of beef and the target of a cyber attack this week that Herzog worries shows a vulnerability in the industry. Could have been totally catastrophic to our industry if it would have lasted a week. Some ranchers have been looking for alternative ways to sell their beef by looking for buyers closer to home. We built our own processing plant. This week, Herzog and his family started operating a small facility down the street. This is our dry aging cooler. His son Todd runs the plant, which specializes in quality cuts of local beef at a competitive price. There's a huge bottleneck in the system right now where cattle producers actually can't get their beef to market because of the lack of processing facilities. The Hertogs hope their facility will let small producers compete with major meat packers. Harvest probably 2,500 head this year. That's not much, but that's 2,500 head they won't get. In Passaic, Missouri, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.